Sona Ola. Hello, I'm Table Camel Thousands, and this is a second art haul. Well, not an art haul, it's more like a manga haul, this one. And this is the Deleter Special Deluxe Manga Kit. I'm so excited to open this. I already opened it and had a peek, so I knew what I was getting and what was going where. I'm actually surprised. To start with, I'm going to show you my Deleter Black Number 1, which is quite a thin black ink, but it's really good. My Deleter White Number 1, which is quite a thick white ink, which I needed. I have yet to test any of these products, so I can't say how good they are or not. Next is my Neo Picky Alcohol Marker. It is a brush tip. Oh, no, that's the chisel end. Sorry, that's the chisel end. That's the chisel tip. And this is the brush tip, I think. I think. I've never used the brush tip in markers, so I don't know what they're supposed to look like. Then I've got two Neo Picky 0.3 fine liners, as you can see. And they're both airtight, clickable ones. These are going to go away somewhere else. I think this is a toning stick or something. I don't think it's a ruler because it doesn't look like a ruler. But I think this is what you use to flatten down the tones. I don't know. The tutorial books I got are in Japanese. Which I didn't expect. I should have expected, really. But they're my... That's my tone flattener or something. Staplers. Let's probably put my manga together. This is a crafting knife. Or a design knife, as it's called here. Basically, I do this to cut screen tones out. And I actually... I'm going to put this somewhere really safe. Because I don't like knives on display. Um, next I have my Deleter nib set. This comes with the Deleter holder, the Saji nib, the G pen, the Saji pen, the G pen and the Maru pen along with three postcard sized pieces of card and comic book paper. So as you can expect I am going to be making some tiny drawings which I'm usually not supposed not like to do but I do anyway. Next is my Deleter, um, oh, I forgot what it's called, my curved, erase, my curved ruler of sorts, it's the curved line, quite good, really, I'm proud of this, I'm so happy with this, I've never had a curved ruler, so I have yet to use it, my two-way stapler, basically you can go from left to right, you can basically staple both ways, it's quite amazing. My cutting ruler, which I have yet to open and have a look at. It's a very heavy ruler. Wow. That is a big ruler. And it's big. Big and plastic. It's a cutting ruler. It's a pretty cutting ruler, like I'm proud of that. Next, I have this colour chart for the Neo Picky um, alcohol marker, which I don't have, so I don't really worry about right now. I only have one alcohol marker from Neo Picky. Next, my Delita skin screen tones, which I get to use. I've never used screen tones before, so until I'm used to them, I probably won't show very often. But I don't know whether I'll get any more than this anyway. Next is my, I think it's a paintbrush, and it's really nice and pliant, really thin, really small, very useful, in them places, very stiff. And I can't show you the mark manga books because they are Japanese, so I have yet to even depict them myself, but the last thing on the list is my cutting mat! I finally have a cutting mat, people! So that's for cutting out screen tones, which I'm glad about because I thought I'd have to buy one. So these are my manga stuff. Oh wait, no, I have some manga paper too. What's this? Oh, that's cute. It's Japanese, so it's this way. Oh, it's telling me how to put a manga book together.
You know, if I understood a word of this, it'd be so much easier. There's all the stuff I have. I have a manga technique book, which I can't even read. Yay! Um, so, that's all that. And the last thing I'm going to show you, I even have a catalogue, which is sad because it's Japanese, but I have a catalogue too, so that's going to be fun. Um, I also have this manga comic book paper. I got some of this from another manga artist once, who came to our college to show us how to look manga, which was great for me, I loved it. Alright, so I got loads of manga paper. I still have a few sheets left. I've hardly used this, and when I have used it, I've used the back of it because I don't like the whole blue lines thing. And I can't wait to use this. Don't sh don't draw on this paper though. Mark use pen only because when I've used this paper and I've used pen pencil before, and it'll never come off. All right, so I'm just going to put it all away now. So I'll show you everything. The alcohol marker has to go somewhere dark, so that can't stay in there. These have to go in my special container for small black um, ink bottles, so they won't go in there. These will be going on my fine liner holder. These will be staying in here. The brush will be going... Well, I don't know whether I'll leave the brush in here or not, really. It's quite a stiff brush, quite useful for painting. Maybe ink application, that's what it's used. I think that's what it's for. Ink application, white ink application, I mean. And honestly, I thought this was a skin tone fine liner sort of thing. So I'm surprised. I thought it was like a felt tip. So when I saw it with a paintbrush, it was quite hilarious. Sorry if I keep knocking into the camera. I'm stood right above it so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put this away with my other paintbrushes. The alcohol marker will be going with my other markers. Um, fine liners will be going in the fine liner holder. This will be going in here. These two ink bottles will be going in my ink bottle holder. This will be going somewhere safe and stored. And I'll be taking all these out and putting the nibs somewhere safe. I need the paper out of it and everything, you see. So, yeah. That's everything that's staying in there. There we go. I have more markers, manga stuff now. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this just as much as I did. And bye bye.